solidity.readthedocs.io Introduction to Smart Contracts Section 3 Blockchain Basics Blockchains as a concept are not too hard to understand for programmers. The reason is that most of the complications mining, hashing, elliptic curve cryptography, peer-to-peer -peer networks etc are just there to provide a certain set of features and promises. Once you accept these features as given, you do not have to worry about the underlying technology or do you have to know how Amazon's AWS works internally in order for you to use it. Transactions. A blockchain is a globally shared transactional database. This means that everyone can read entities in the database just by participating in the network. If you want to change something in the database, you have to create a so-called transaction which has to be accepted by all others. The word trans transaction implies that the change you want to make, assume you want to change two values at the same time, is either not done at all or completely applied. Furthermore, while, you, while your transaction is applied to the database, no other transaction can alter it. As an example, imagine a table that lists the balances of all accounts in an electronic currency. If a, if a transfer from one account to another is requested, the transactional nature, nature of the database ensures that if the amount is subtracted from one account, it is always added to the other. If due to whatever reason adding the amount to, to the target account is not possible, the source account is also not modified. Furthermore, a transaction is always cryptographically signed by the sender creator. This makes it straightforward to guard access to specific modifications of the database. In the example of the electronic currency, a simple check ensures that only the person holding the keys to the account can transfer money from it. Blocks. Blocks one of the major obstacles to overcome is what in Bitcoin terms is called a double spend attack. What happens if two transactions exist in the network that both want to empty an account, a so-called conflict? The abstract answer to this is that you do not have, have to care. An order of the transaction will be selected for you. The transactions will be bundled into what is called a block and then they will be executed and distributed amongst all participating nodes. If two transactions contradict each other, the one that ends up being second will be rejected and not become part of the block. These blocks form a linear sequence in time that is where the word blockchain derives from. Blocks are added to the chain in rather regular intervals. For Ethereum, it is roughly 17 seconds. It's roughly every 17 seconds. As part of the older order selection mechanism, which is called mining, it may happen that blocks are reverted from time to time, but only at the tip of the chain. The more blocks that are added onto the top, the less likely it is. So it might be that your transaction your transactions are reverted or even removed from the blockchain, but the longer you wait, the less likely it will be. <clears throat>